Hey friends, I hope you're having an excellent day. I'm making some Midori Traveler's Notebook inserts today. And I thought I would, I would show you guys how I do this simply because it's like the time of year when when my gift stash is really, really low. Now, I keep small gifts in a drawer in my upstairs Tower Bower studio. That way, when I need a small gift for somebody, I don't have to go out and purchase something. I can just go to my drawer and pick something out cool. And I even, um, I even have things that I can personalize. So I wanted to show you my kind of version of Midori Three Ways. Uh, if you don't know about Midori Traveler's Notebooks, it's a really interesting concept. Um, they come in regular personal passport and field note size, and now there's like a micro Midori, but it's very interesting. It's just like a, you know, a, a journaling, uh, bullet journaling, record keeping kind of system, and it's, it's really very cool. My Midoris are they start out, this is a typical kind of Midori insert that I would do. This starts out as a seven inch piece of paper by five. And then all you do is just uh, fold that together. The papers for my Midori passport inserts are four and seven eighths by six and three quarters. To make everything fit snugly, I take an eighth of an inch off Okay, I'll show you how I do these. I do five sheets of paper. Okay, so five, five, four and seven eighths by six and three quarters. And then for the, so I can have that paper snug nicely in my little insert, I take about an eighth of an inch off the second cut. So, it turns out like that. You know, you're, you, you've got a nice little snug uh, fit for your papers that go in your insert. Um, next thing I'm going to do, now remember this is just a typical Midori. For the covers of my little inserts, notebooks, I'm, I'm using a heavyweight cardstock, so that's what that is. These little notebooks are, are sorry y'all, ow that hurt. Uh, super handy to have for little gifts so you don't have to even though they are a typical Midori kind of insert you can use them for anything they're wonderful to you know you could customize them and make them into something for a baby shower or a bridal shower or you know an anniversary party or a birthday party or whatever you wanted I'm punching a hole in the middle of my little notebook. Now I'm going to punch one hole here, come down about an inch, punch another hole, and then punch another hole up here. You don't have to be exact about this, you know, just line it up as best you can. Next thing we're going to do is sew them together. And I like sewn inserts. A lot of people do inserts and they do stapled inserts, which is, that's just fine, but I really do like a sewn insert. I want my um, not to be on the outside of my little notebook. So I start on the outside of the notebook and then you pull just a little bit of embroidery floss through. You can use whatever you want. You can use, you know, scrap string or a baker's twine or whatever you want. And then this is going to tie on the outside. And I just give it, make sure that one string goes this way and one string goes that way. Part of your floss or twine or whatever. And then I just give it two nice little ties. And just trim it off right there. Okay. You got a very cool little notebook. You can do anything you want with this. It makes such a sweet little gift for someone. Perfect, you know, size for a purse or, or a backpack or anything like that. The next two I'm going to make, make I'm going to do a little bit of customization on. I know that my nieces have birthdays coming up, so 
The K is for one niece, the I is for the other. I chose some papers that um, came in a paper stack, but these were papers that I did not use. So they went together, but I had not used them. So I thought this would be like kind of a perfect use for them. All right, so here we go. Fold your little notebook out, put your hole in the middle, come down a little bit and punch another hole. And one more. I'm going to do something just a little bit different on these and I'm going to add, I'm going to add some beads. So I still I still want to make my knot on the outside of my notebook, but I'll show you how to add some beads. Okay, knot's going on the outside. Pull that through. Doesn't matter if you go in the top hole first or the bottom hole first. It really doesn't matter. All right. Now there we go. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put one knot and then I'm going to tie some handmade beads onto this little notebook. Now these are beads that I made um, like back in the summer. They go quite nicely with this color. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just you know, we'll just tie just a couple beads on here. The letters that I'm going to use for this little notebook came in the same paper pack. So, you know, this is a great little project to, to do as you're trying to use up, you know, the stuff that may be in a, a leftover paper pack and you may have finished the project and you're kind of tired of looking at that paper pack. You want to do something to it, not to it, with it. This one's going to be a little tough to get through here. These are like little tiny rolled beads that I made during the summer. And I was like on a bead making frenzy there for a while. Still love to make them. Love, love, love to make paper beads. All right. I'll give this a few ties. And then I'll show you how I'm going to put the personalization on here. And it's nothing hard. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Now, let's give, let's see, let's do K here. I think that's... Mm, mm. Okay, there we go. All I do here is take just a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm going to take a brush. And just attach the letter on. Very easy. I will tell you guys, before I cut these letters out, I do trace them with a black marker. And then that, that leaves... Um, you know, a nice little um, edge on them. And rem you can do these, like I said, for birthdays or, you know, you can make up a whole stack of little Midori notebooks or little notebooks and put them in your stash drawer, your gift drawer, or your gift box or whatever you guys use. I imagine well, I know I I do that. I mean, a lot of people probably don't don't do gifting like that. But I like having something handmade and homemade for special gifts. And there we go. And there is a birthday gift, all set for this year. All right. Now, I'll do this one in a minute. I wanted to show you the last little idea that I have today. This is the same kind of notebook, but for the inside of this notebook, instead of using plain white paper, 
I used scrapbook paper. And this was a scrapbook paper that I was not super fond of. It, the design is kind of old, but it was still excellent quality paper. And it had this beautiful image that I wanted to use on the front. Isn't she just gorgeous? <laughs> All right, so again, same thing. Punch in the middle, but that's just another variation. You know, you can put whatever you want on the inside. And there we go. And I think for this one, we'll choose some pink. And also for this one, I am going to tie it on the inside. So we've got an inside tie, so I will start on the inside. Pull this through. And then we're going to pull this through right here. This is a great little craft for kids. You know, you could make up a few of these little notebooks and you could sit them at the table with some crayons and glue and glitter and all kinds of stickers and fun things and let them design their own little notebook. So you can see what happened there. You know, it's just that I tied it on the inside. Okay, so we've got three little notebooks for our gift drawer. I hope you guys enjoyed this little craft today. I hope you're having a happy day. Thanks for following along. I appreciate it, y'all. Take care. Bye.